The Entrepreneur's Library, episode 220. Welcome to the Entrepreneur's Library, the only book-centric podcast that reviews all the top-selling business books and shares authors' perspective firsthand. This is your resource to finding the next great book that will enable you to grow personally and professionally. Welcome your host, Wade Danielson. Welcome back to the EL. Today we have Jonathan Milligan, author of The 15 Success Traits of Pro Bloggers a proven roadmap to becoming a full-time blogger. I know what you might be thinking. Wade, this is not a book on entrepreneurship. It's not geared towards entrepreneurs. But if you're, if you're keeping your ear to the ground about how marketing is done today and you hear of companies like HubSpot being born and, and inbound marketing, uh, getting those, those, that, that marketing, those sales to come to you, Blogging is a is a huge part of that, you know, the podcasting and and video production and and blogging and uh, video blogs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs are using this as a method. So maybe you're not going to become a a full time or a, a professional blogger, but a lot of companies are realizing that that blogging in general is a part of that. And he takes us through. Jonathan takes us through uh, exactly what that means. Whether you're going to be the full time blogger or it's something that you think that your company needs as far as content creation. So this is a fantastic interview and a great guy. So let's bring him on. Welcome, Jonathan. And thank you for joining us on the Entrepreneur's Library. Thanks, Wade, for having me. Absolutely. Before we take a deep dive into your book, we take just a moment to introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about you. Sure. I started my career as a high school teacher. Both of my parents were educators. And so I thought that might be where I was going to land. Uh, after about three years of doing the teaching thing, I was teaching and coaching, loved the kids, but I found it wasn't the right environment for me. I had a real entrepreneurial side to me. And so I started down that avenue, joined up with a, a startup company that was an executive search firm, did that for seven or eight years, and then still had a knack for wanting to do something more online that I could be more of a portable lifestyle business. And so I fell into blogging. And over the course of a couple of years, I ended up getting to the place where it could replace my day job. And now today, that's what I do. I'm a full-time blogger. And I have two blogs that I manage and courses and books and speaking and all that. Perfect. So first off, thank you for sharing that. And now let's jump right into your book, The 15 Success Traits of Pope. I'm sorry, pro bloggers, a proven roadmap to becoming a full-time blogger. And I think this is so relevant because the, the individual that you're talking to today, entrepreneur, and, and there's some, some entrepreneurs that are listening as well. And they're wondering, but even as an entrepreneur myself, I know that I'm always looking to diversify. And so those out there, and it seems like content inbound marketing, so many of these different methods are becoming more and more relevant. So I think this is, this is, uh, extremely relevant to, to the audience that you're going to be speaking with today. And uh, it looked like it was available back in February two, uh, 2015, right? So just the 24th? Yeah, it's been out for a couple of months. It's uh, in Kindle, paperback, and audiobook. And uh, it's gone really well so far. Great. So we're going to move quick. But our whole goal here today is to cover those top questions that the listener you know, slash future reader would like to get answered. And the first one is, what was the inspiration behind writing the 15 success traits of pro bloggers? Well, I always had people who would send emails to me saying, Jonathan, what did you do? How did you become a full-time blogger? How are you working from home and doing this thing full-time? And they would want to know the exact steps. And so I began to start thinking through how could I teach this and threw things out and things didn't work and put this in there and ran it by other friends of mine who were pro bloggers and started tweaking it and boiling it down to what I considered 15 success traits. These were the success traits that people were using to become full-time bloggers and podcasters or whatever else you want to use if you're delivering content online. So in an essence, that was the inspiration behind the book. So th this question becomes more and more prevalent on the sheer amount of books that come out on a, on a daily and a monthly basis. So maybe you can help differentiate yours from the rest. So what makes your book different from others regarding the same or similar topic? Yeah. So I was very specific in the beginning. I did not want to write another book about how to start a blog. 
there was already so many out there. There's some bad ones out there. There's some ones that, I mean, you can go to your library and say, I want to learn about blogging and get you pull a book off the shelf and it's outdated. I did not want to write a book that would be outdated in six to nine months. And so my book is a business book first. It is something someone can take and literally it is a self-development slash business development plan that you can fall into over the next couple of years. Whatever tools you want to use, great. But these are the success traits that you need to develop. Jonathan, how did you design the book to be read? Is this one that that, uh, the listener can jump in and jump out based on the information they need at that moment? Or did you really write it to be read from front to back? Well, actually, it could be done both. Uh, I would say if you're just starting out, you should just go right through it. Uh, because you're going to identify with the beginning that's going to help you develop the right mindset. If you've been blogging for a while, you might be interested to jump further in to the actual processes, scaling your business, outsourcing might be more attractive to jump in there. So you certainly could jump in where you wanted with the book. Perfect. So now that we know a little of the, the background, the purpose of the book, let's take a deep dive into the content itself. We take the next five to eight minutes and really roll out what uh, the future reader can expect to get out of your book? Sure. So at the very beginning of the book, I share with you a way that you can get access to a one-page color PDF that I had designed that explains the essence of the whole book. Uh, This one-page infographic is what I call the blogger success pyramid. It's got the 15 traits in a pyramid format. And many of my students have printed that off. They've placed it by their computer. They use it to help them build their businesses. And so the rest of the book is divided into, the the chapters are divided into each of those traits. So the very bottom of the pyramid is what I call tier one, and it's the mindset. The mindset is so important for us to be able to, to, to grasp the things that we need to get a hold of in order to achieve success. Because the truth is, Wade, for many of us, we are going to act out of our thoughts. And so if our thoughts are defeating, we're not going to take action. And that's why whenever someone says, well, if you were to start all over again, what would you do? I would tell them I would probably reach success twice as fast. And here's why. Because I don't have the mindset traps that so many of us have. For example, the five mindsets that I share are passion, resilience, competence, consistency, and patience. You've got to have those five things. And without them, you are not going to stay with it over the long haul to achieve success. So those are the foundational mindsets that you need to have. Then tier two, we jump into what I think many people get tripped up on. And tier two is about the habits. There's so much to do online. If you're a podcaster or you're a blogger or you're um, a video blogger, you're a content creator you are overwhelmed with so many tasks, so many things to do, you don't know where to focus your time. And so I boil it down in the book to four simple keystone habits. And this is what all the the most successful content creators, this is where they spend their time. I would say 90 to 95% of their week is spent here. The first one, create. The create habit is to use text, audio, or video to get your message out to the masses. The second thing is the capture habit. That's the artful exchange of value for email addresses. Building that email list is so critical and so important. The third one's called the compile habit, and that is where you package your knowledge and perspective into products and services. So that's where you're actually doing things that's going to earn you income. And then the connect habit. That's your ability to connect with other people, build community with other passionate influencers. And so if someone tells me they're completely scattered, I say, focus in on just doing those four things. Create new content on a regular basis. Capture and build your email list. Compile products and services that people can purchase from you that provides transformation in their lives. And connect with other influencers. Then somebody says, okay, I kind of already know that. I got a handle on that. I just don't know how to get beyond where I can scale my business. And that's tier three, which is systems. And there's three traits there, people, processes, and plans. And when you get the right people 
you create the right processes that you can outsource to other people and you put the right plans in place, marketing plans, financial plans, you can begin to scale your business way beyond yourself and save you time, effort, and money. And then finally, the top tier is the leverage tier. And that's how you stay on top. People say, well, once you get to the top or once you become successful, how do you stay on top? There's two essential traits. It's learning and listening. Learning is the ability to unlearn and sit at the feet of your peers, where literally you are able to learn from those that you surround yourself around, whether it's a mastermind group or people in your network. And then the second leverage point is listening. And that is the constant awareness of the goals, passions, and struggles of your audience. Staying connected to your audience and knowing what it is that they need help with is how you stay on top. And so that's a quick overview, but there's so much more in the book. But those are the those are the 15 success traits that you can walk through and apply to your life and grow to the next level. So first off, thank you for taking us through that and really breaking it down. And this next question I feel like might be somewhat difficult because we're asking you to take it a step further. You just talked about those those 15 traits. And this will be relevant in that we're asking if the reader can only take away one concept, principle, action item, or in this case, with your book, maybe one trait out of your entire book and everything you just discussed with us, which one would you want that to be? Well, I would hope that they would get the heart of the book. And the heart of the book is that the best way to grow a business is teaching and serving an audience well. That at the end of the day, people don't buy a program, they want transformation, And when they sense that you are there and you're invested and you want to see them grow and you're you're teaching, you're sharing, you're helping, you're assisting, then I think that's the heart of the book. There's at the end of the book, the last chapter, I talk about uh, the final success trait, which is trust and authority. I mean, that's what we all want. We all want to be known as an authority in what we do and we want to be trusted. And there's three attributes inside of that. And that is to have the heart of a teacher, the sacrifice of a servant, and the love of a friend. And if you can keep that as your focus point as an entrepreneur, that I'm going to have the heart of a teacher in everything I do. I'm going to have the sacrifice of a servant, and I'm going to have the the love of a friend to really care for my audience. Then that will take you far. And that is really at the very heart of the book. Mm, That's huge. And you have a lot of quote-worthy things that you just said. Uh, when sharing the one takeaway. And that actually leads into our next question, which is, do you have a favorite quote from your book? Something that you feel like, uh, and and now it's been out for a while, maybe that that resonates with your audience, but something that you wrote uh, and and will you take a minute to explain what it means to you? Yeah, this is the one, uh, when I was actually recording the audio book, I'm not an emotional guy, Wade, but when I was recording the audio book, I actually got choked up when I started reading some of this chapter because mm-hmm. I'd put all the work into to actually writing the book and promoting the book and then finally sitting down and just, you know, doing the audio book. And I read this and I'm like, I really believe this to my core. And it is in that final chapter, chapter 21 of the book, and it says, At the very beginning, what's the ultimate result we want from all of this hard work? For me, it's not money, although I need money to live and reach my goals. It's not fame or popularity. I find more fulfillment in stewarding the gifts God's given me, even if popularity never comes my way. The final success trait cannot be achieved as a goal. Instead, it's a result of doing everything else well. It's the ultimate gift from a lifetime of serving others, trust, and authority. You are rich when you've earned trust and authority with your audience. And I believe that to my core, that when you've built that trust and authority with your audience, that is the ultimate goal. That's fantastic. And Jonathan, for those that, that are that are mobile right now and want to dive into that deeper, uh, we'll put that in the show notes at the elpodcast.com. Um, that's one of those things when you ask for a favorite quote, I, I think I always want to go back and kind of think about what it means to me. And mm-hmm. that's a that's a fantastic um, so we have one last question for you and, and it's not actually about your book, but it's about the book. If there was only one book you could recommend based on the way that it's maybe changed your life or created a lifestyle or paradigm shift, uh, which book would you, uh, would you suggest? Wow. Well, I read a book a week. It's a habit I've been in for a while. And 
So there's so many that I could choose from, but I would say the one I've read most recently that's made a profound impact on my productivity is from a gal named Carson Tate. It's called Work Simply. Embrace the power of your personal productivity style. You know, a couple of years ago, I told my wife, I said, I really think this time management thing is more about personality than anything. And I'm just waiting for somebody to write a book on discovering your personality style first. And then here's how you become productive. Because so many books out there, they try to to make you kind of fit into their mold. And then you're frustrated when it doesn't work for you. But this book has been uh, a real game changer for me to allow me to embrace my own personality and do things to be productive in a different way than most people might do them. Very good. We haven't had that one recommended. I'm looking. That's actually a brand new book. I think it just came out in January, correct? Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Very good. While I'm actually looking that up, because I also wanted to reference, I know we had Carson on. For those that that actually wanted to learn more about that book, we have that in episode 167, uh, where Carson actually takes takes us through work simply. So thank you for referencing that. Um, yeah, I want to make sure because I knew we I knew we'd already done the interview. I just wanted to make sure we had the right the right episode. But uh, Jonathan, before we depart, can you recommend the best way for our listeners to not only get more information on you, but also get more information on your book? Sure. Well, it's available on Amazon. It's there in paperback. It's there in Kindle and audiobook. Uh, but those that want to take a deeper dive, bloggingyourpassion.com is the best place. We actually have a university there, thousands of students who have went through the our courses on how do you take something from a passion idea to a portable lifestyle business. And so we walk people through a 101, 201, 301, and 401 course there. And you can also catch me on Twitter. I love hanging out on Twitter. And the handle there is John, J-O-N, Milligan, M-I-L-L-I-G-A-N. Will you one more time, I just want to make sure that they know, uh, because we'll also put this in the show notes. What are those courses that you were talking about, the 101, 201? Yeah, so it's all wrapped up into Blogging Your Passion University. It is, I open it up two times a year, and you can get to it from bloggingyourpassion.com. Uh, there's a university tab where you can learn more, but really it dives f- deeper from the book into actual how-to videos, and we do regular live classes there as well. Oh, perfect. And, and what you're saying is you, that's an A to Z. I mean, whether you're someone who's just starting out or you've been uh, hacking at it for a couple of years, this is a great place to visit. Yeah, absolutely. It takes the 15 success traits and it boils it down into modules where you can jump in. So if you're just getting started, you can start at the very beginning. If you've been at it a while and you want to figure out how to get more traffic, you can start there. If you want to figure out how to outsource and scale your business, you can start in 301. So it uh, literally pretty much allows you to, to jump in wherever you feel like you need the help. Perfect. Well, excellent. Well, Jonathan, thank you so much for coming on today and sharing your book with us. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Wade. Thanks again for listening in today. If you want more information on Jonathan or his book, The 15 Success Traits of Pro Bloggers, check out the show notes at the elpodcast.com. And as always, if you want an opportunity or a chance to win this book, become a VIP. It's there on the homepage in the upper right-hand corner. Looking for your next book idea? Head over to the elpodcast.com where Wade shares his amazing resource, the top 10 business books recommended by over 500 entrepreneurs with you for free. That's the elpodcast.com. Till the next time, keep it on the EL.